Hello warriors, can we reverse vertebral fusion related to ankylosing spondylitis? An important discussion that we have in hands today. To begin with, let us have a look at two warriors. Warrior 1, Warrior 2. If you observe closely, both of them have the typical forward bending posture related to ankylosing spondylitis. If I ask you what is the reason of this forward bending posture? I am sure many of you would say it is the vertebral fusion due to ankylosing spondylitis that is responsible for the posture. Okay, let us first understand what vertebral fusion is and we will come back to these warriors later. As you all know, ankylosing spondylitis is an autoimmune inflammatory arthritis. Our own immunity starts thinking that the joints are foreign, starts attacking these joints. In ankylosing spondylitis, it is the sacroiliac joint and the vertebral joints that are affected. What begins initially as inflammation in the vertebral and the sacroiliac joint later on ends up with calcification of the ligaments of these joints and also fusion of these vertebrae. Let us understand this in detail. This is a simple model which will explain things in a much better fashion. These match boxes are like our vertebrae and as you can see these threads are like the spinal ligaments that hold the match boxes in position. Because of these flexible threads, the entire structure is flexible. Now suppose consider a situation wherein I put wax or cement on these threads. Do you think it will the, the entire structure will maintain its flexibility? Definitely not. This is exactly what happens in ankylosing spondylitis. The ligaments of the vertebrae become tough, thickened because of excessive calcium deposition and the back then loses its flexibility and also develops the typical stooped deformity of ankylosing spondylitis. The same thing is seen in the x-ray. This is the x-ray of a normal person. As you can see these are the vertebrae. There are ligaments, remember the matchbox structure, there are ligaments that hold these vertebrae in position but they are not normally seen on the x-ray. If you see the x-ray of an ankylosing spondylitis warrior, the vertebrae are definitely seen. But what you can also see is these thick calcified ligaments that hold these vertebrae in position. So this is exactly what happens. The ligaments become calcified thick and that is what you know causes the difficulty in bending, difficulty in turning, the loss of flexibility of the spine with ankylosing spondylitis. A different view of a similar phenomenon, this is the x-ray of a normal person. As you can see, you can see the vertebrae, but the ligaments that hold in position are not seen. This is somebody with ankylosing spondylitis. As you can see, the ligaments that hold the vertebrae in position have become calcified, thick and clearly seen. And this is exactly what is described as a bamboo spine. Now that we have seen what vertebral fusion due to ankylosing spondylitis is, let's go back to the warriors. Warrior number one, he has ankylosing spondylitis since last 20 years. If you look at his x-ray, you would see calcification of the ligaments, fusion of the vertebrae, a typical bamboo spine appearance. He has vertebral fusion. However, the second warrior, if you look at, he has ankylosing spondylitis only since last one and a half years. His x-ray would not show ligamentous calcification. His x-ray would not show vertebral fusion. Then what is the cause of his stooped posture? In our body, whenever a joint gets inflamed, the muscles surrounding the joint contract, they go into spasm. This is a bodily protective mechanism to protect the joint, to reduce movements of the joint. So what would happen if a person has inflammation in the vertebral joints in ankylosing spondylitis? The muscles surrounding these vertebral joints, the paravertebral muscles, they go into spasm, they contract and this again would give a forward bending posture to the person. So a forward bending posture does not always mean vertebral fusion. One has to get a x-ray, MRI or a CT scan to confirm whether the cause of this posture is vertebral fusion. As of now, we do not have 
any proven treatment in any of the pathies that can reverse vertebral fusion that has already occurred. Neither alternative therapies, nor yoga, nor traction, nor physiotherapy can reverse vertebral fusion. So if you come across any of the so-called experts who claim that they can reverse vertebral fusion that has already happened, this is not truth. It is far from truth. Let me repeat again. Beware, beware of the so-called experts who claim that they can reverse vertebral fusion that has already occurred. These so-called experts may come up with videos of warriors with short duration of ankylosing symptoms, wherein the forward bending posture in their photos is because of inflammation of the vertebrae and not because of actual vertebral fusion. These warriors, when treated, when the inflammation of the vertebral joints is reduced, the spasm of the paravertebral muscles is gone, would regain a normal posture. And this is exactly what is shown in the video as reversible reversal of vertebral fusion by the so-called experts. So whenever you see these videos, always check whether the vertebral fusion is confirmed with some X-ray, MRI or CT scan and whether the reversal is again confirmed by showing a fresh CT scan, MRI or X-ray. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. Let us meet next week. Keep smiling.